I know that three out of the four last videos of mine were montages, and my last actual video was well over a month ago, but montages are fun, okay? They're fun to make, uh, and if you haven't watched them, you should before this video because they're quicker. So SF, despite only having one series, is clearly on a set pattern that it's going to follow for however long uh, until they want to shake it up again. They release seasons now, and these seasons are basically the game's massive updates. So instead of having smaller updates, usually released with the seasonal events, now every drop with new content is probably going to be every in-game season. So season 1 had the new Forest Light Horde mode, a cattle pass, an overall complete change in uh, the game, cosmetics, and how the game looked in general. Season 2 is going to be, from my best guess, space-themed with the release of Moonside and a bunch of Moonside cosmetics, so like aliens, space, astronauts, for the Season 2 Cattle Pass. So this begs the question, how is SF going to continue in the future? What is the future of Shotgun Farmers? When I said that all the game's content would drop all at once with the new season, I guess I was kind of lying. Yeah, although there hasn't been anything released with the seasonal updates since last year's Halloween, meaning that the Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's, Easter, none of those have given us anything new to unlock. There is already so much content there that it makes sense not to even stockpile more. I'm pretty sure Christmas items make up like 25% of the game's cosmetics. But from time to time, we are given new content in the form of the Farmer's Market. The Farmer's Market's purpose was to give us new cosmetics, emotes, and badges, songs, everything like that, in between big updates. So they could give us actual content without having to update the game or drop a new map or a new skin or something like that. So although from now on there aren't going to be big updates for multiple, multiple months, they can still, every week, put in new stuff into the farmer's market to give us. And that's what they've been doing, they've been adding new pets uh, as they've been cycling through their old cosmetics that they haven't really had in the shuffle for a while. I don't really have a segue for this, but talking about Season 2, it is going to be Moonside themed like I said before. Meaning that the background of the lobby is probably going to be the farmers on the moon. In the cattle pass, there's probably going to be alien skins, the astronaut skin which he's already showed off, some type of alien shovel, futuristic shotguns, stuff like that. He has shown off a little bit uh, in his devlogs and on stream before, which I'll show pictures up on screen now. The cattle pass is going to be super cool. Adding a bunch of futuristic skins gives Quasi TV a bunch of great ideas. I mean, the stuff that he's shown off for Moonside already has been great. Moonside is such a big leap from any other map that there's been. I mean, playing on the moon is a lot different than in a graveyard or on a farm. The badges can be super cool. I did love the badge for the Forest Side season, season 1, but season 2 can have really great badges. I've posted concept art for badges before in the Discord. We did get great cosmetics in the Season 1 Battle Pass with the Lumberjack, the Lumber Wolf, the awesome Vampire skin, the Zombear skin was awesome, we got, a gr we got a bunch of great pets, but Moonside has the potential to add a bunch of really, really, really cool cosmetics that a lot of people are making concept for and Quasi seems to be picking a few things. I came up with the Tomato Saucer, a play on Tomato Sauce. Uh, for what the crop drop would look like because obviously you're not going to have a regular plane in space So a substitute I thought would be the UFO or a UFO called the tomato saucer He looked at that on Twitter that might be putting in the game I know Scully has made some content for the game like a f robot pet all stuff that he's definitely making and Putting into this new season because of how much content you have to put into a 50 tier battle pass, he's definitely always taking from the community. So if you go into official right now and you put in an item that you'd like to see in the cattle pass, like a cool skin or something like that, there is a chance that he'll take that and put that into the game because he's taking as much as he can from the community to fill up the vast amount of content needed for a new season. Alright, let's stop talking about the filler. We're going into east side. If you don't know what east side is, go watch my other east side video and then SF drought video. Um, 
it's basically, if I boil it down, a map that I made, uh, that Quasi has shown interest to, has teased in the game in the form of Easter eggs and Forest Side, and I'm waiting for it to be put in the game. So obviously Eastside isn't dropping with Season 2, but Quasi said last year that he wanted to break the curse of only adding one map per year and was going to try to put Moonside into 2022. Obviously that didn't work, everything got pushed back into 2023 with the development of Season 1, and I don't know when Season 2 is dropping, could be in summer, could be latter of 2023, it could be next month. I really have no idea how fast the development time is, because Quasi right now isn't really showing off a lot. But is it possible for Season 3 to be Eastside themed with the release of Eastside, meaning that Moonside and Eastside would quite possibly release in the same year? Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? Maybe not. It would be very late, see, uh, 2023, so probably December and November, and there is a good chance that it would probably be delayed into 2024. I made the original concept art in 2020, in December of 2020, and even as early as January of 2021, Quasi went in Discord and saw my concept and commented, what, this blew me away, and throughout all of the time that I've been in the community, he has referenced Eastside. In Foresight, there were two Eastside references on stream, he always talks about adding the city map. And finally, for the Switch stream, which he streamed when the Switch port finally came out, he showed off official Eastside concept art, and it looks great. So this is obviously something that he is planning on doing after Moonside. And it would not shock me if he made Season 3 another map drop. Now, he might skip a map. It is possible, or sorry, skip a season. It is possible that Quasi doesn't release a map with Season 3 and releases Eastside with Season 4, meaning that Eastside could be put mid-2024 to late-2024. Um, but yeah, it is possible, but just because of how much he wants to, he's been very excited about adding this. He apparently has a lot of great ideas. I would be not surprised. I would be very surprised if he did push it back to season four. Obviously, because I've always wanted Eastside in, when Quasi announced that he would be making Moonside first, I was very annoyed. And every update that didn't have Eastside, I was like, ugh. But objectively, looking at season two, it's going to be a great season. Moonside has a lot of potential, even though you do have to be careful with the layout. Making a moon map layout interesting and like good is going to be hard. So it's probably going to take place, like, in a space station. I know there's going to be little zero-gravity pockets that he wants to throw in. But we already do have the, um, the GMO of zero-gravity. You can't really have small enclosed tunnels, but it can't be way too open. So making the, the layout for Moonside does seem like a very challenging thing to add. But also, making a city map fun and look like a city while working for shotgun farmers is also a big challenge, so we're going to see how Quasi tackles Moonside, and hopefully later Eastside. Now it's time to talk about what the future of SF is like. How long is Quasi going to be doing these seasons? These drops are massive, which means the work that has to be put into it is equally as massive. Being a small indie team that has to, in a pretty fast pace, push out 50 unique cosmetics, while also probably releasing a new gun or map has to be tiring, and continuously doing that every single year is going to burn Quasi out, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is a break in these seasons for a little bit, just to let Quasi breathe and maybe add some other stuff. There aren't any consoles to port anymore, there's nothing more external work to be done, Quasi can finally focus on the game, and the various bugs that are in it currently, um... Especially with emoting, have you seen the videos uh, of the emo glitches? They're actually insane. With Shotgun Farmers VR maybe still being in development, it's been over a year since it was announced. Last year's April Fools turned actual project that probably has not been worked on very much since. Um, because nothing has been shown off of it really, so I wouldn't hold my breath for that. Cross progression is going to be at at some point. Quasi, please add it sooner rather than later. Maybe with the release of season two, but probably not, because I played on my laptop before, 
and it was bad. It was a very bad experience. And the more I cluttered my laptop with filth and useless programs and pictures, it just made the game slower and slower and slower. It didn't it didn't run great to begin with, but it, was, it just got slower and slower until I could not play it anymore. So when I was Prestige 3, I switched from that to my PlayStation. I am now Prestige 3 on my PlayStation, meaning that I should technically I've put in six prestiges of work. So when a count merging happens, hopefully I'm guessing all my stats will be merged together. Any cosmetics that I don't have will be added. If I have an uh an a item on one account and I don't on the other, when we merge we'll have that account. Having three exclusive um skins because I have it on Switch, PlayStation and PC, that would make for a amazing account with you know, which encourages you, encourages you to buy another console just so that you can get a uh, skin. Hopefully he adds that because I would love to be Prestige 6 and not have to grind an extra three seasons or three prestiges just for him to add it afterwards. Creative mode is something that has great community interest but really hasn't been shown off. When will that get added, you know? Um, maybe that releases with Season 3 or Season 4, but Quasi hasn't developed on it yet or he hasn't told us a lot about the development even though from what he has shown off it looks fairly complete um i have a lot of interest in community maps um i'm going to make a video at some point on how you would logistically add that to the game but yeah i'm very excited for creative so not only does quasi have to add in a bunch of new guns and cosmetics and maps but he also added stuff that he hasn't really had the experience of working on before which is a completely new creative game mode, which he somehow has to tie into Shotgun Farmers without feeling unnecessary and complexly tacked on. And he also has to add account merging, which would mean cross-platform parties. You have to make a, an account to SF and not just your console so that you can add friends on SF, meaning, like I said, cross-platform parties and friends. That is very complicated and Quasi has been trying to add that for years now. So Quasi has a lot on his plate, and that's probably why he hasn't been posting as much on TikTok. Uh, and also, Quasi recently did this interview. I listened to the whole thing, and it was very inspiring. He said that the reason he doesn't stream as much now is because he's adding so much cool stuff that he wants to be a surprise. And that makes sense. I can't get angry at that. I do hope he teases Eastside at some point, shows us what he has been working on for Moonsai Season 2, and to please give us a release date, or at least a vague window. I know that Quasi TV sometimes has trouble working on deadlines, so he definitely wants to make sure he can get a date before he announces it, but I'm hoping that that date and the time that he announces it is sooner rather than later. Thank you for watching the video, I know I haven't been posting at all, that's my bad. I've been working with montages, devving, hanging out with friends a bunch with the SF community. Um, go watch other montages in the SF community, there's been a resurgence of it from Dunks, Huff, Chips, Zero, Birdie, uh, even TJ Pumpkin King is working on one. I've posted three so far within the past two or three months. Uh, and I'm very proud with them. So please go watch all that. Support the SF community because that's the only thing that's going to tie you over till the next update. Uh, and yeah, please, for the love of God, like the video. Please, please, please!